I'm here today at the Things Conference at Truvami's booth. Now, what are we doing here at Truvami? Truvami is a company focusing on geolocation solutions. Geolocation solutions, okay. Yes, so our mission is to make tracking accessible to everybody uh, by providing not only hardware device, but also uh, connectivity solutions and the platform and uh, to make it directly integratable into our clients' IT systems. Right, and so this is an asset tracker. Exactly. So asset tracking has been around for a while. I mean, we're looking, if you go a while back, uh, passive tracking, QR codes were manual, uh, simple, but also error prone, then RFID, Broadus automation, gate level visibility, but also limited to just binary data. Then we also look at classical battery powered IoT trackers, mm -hmm. uh, which we also have some of, our, of the, these in our portfolio and they remain a critical pillar for modern logistics, uh, providing rich and continuous data insights, mm -hmm. uh, data streams, and, but we are now seeing that this movement towards more battery-free era has begun, where we also require not just geolocation data, but also has the asset been moved, um, was the temperature threshold exceeded, uh, has it been idle for a long time. This is the type of information that our clients, which are uh, logistics, warehouse operators, are looking for. Mm. So, uh, and these type of operations, uh, it's difficult for them to carry the overhead of having to maintain thousands of battery powered devices. So this is really what we're looking here at with the Truvami Smart Label that I have in my hand here today. It's a completely battery free tracker, uh, harvested or harvests energy with the ambient light. So we don't need solar energy from outdoors. It's sufficient yeah. within the warehouse uh, to have the energy from there to run completely autonomous. So this is, may I have this? Yes. So this is just like the calculator that you may have had uh, in primary school before you got your graphics calculator with which ate battery. Um, this is something that can harvest energy just from ambient light sources, you said. This is using Dracula's technology as well. Exactly. I think we've covered them on IP Exchange before. Am I right, cameraman? Have we covered Dracula before? Yeah, that's a tick. We have. Go and watch that video. So this is fantastic. It's very thin. Mm -hmm. And that's really your, your value proposition is the fact that this has no battery in it. Mm -hmm. Therefore, uh, were it not to see light for a week, it doesn't matter. The battery wouldn't be damaged beyond belief or anything like that. This is totally a, a solution with, with just a solar cell. So what's, what's, what is actually holding this energy in here? Have we got capacitance instead of a battery? Yes, there's a supercapacitor that is bridging the time uh, when the, the acid is completely in the dark, so it can still live for a couple of days over a week mm -hmm. until it sees light again to kind of bridge this time in between. Mm -hmm. And also what you were pointing out earlier, uh, the, the flat form factor of the label is also oh, it's a bit it's, it's flexible. Can move it, I see. It can be attached also to curved assets, so this is a game changer. Is this through uh, flexible PCBs? Exactly, exactly. Fantastic. So we have the flex PCB inside. So on one hand, it's battery free, it's flexible, cost effective and also context aware. As I mentioned earlier, what we have with traditional tracking systems, we do not have that. We just have this gate level visibility, right? So to do this on a battery free basis, this is changing the game. And as, a, as someone who might purchase one of these, what is the information that I actually received? How do I in, uh, receive this information? Is there sort of any any pins on this that I can connect a temperature sensor to, or is that not really this? This is this is purely location data. No, the temperature sensor is already included here. Oh, you actually do have a temperature yes. sensor. Okay, cool, yes. cool, cool. So Good guess. It's uh, the, all the data. Is that is this being... small hole? No, the hole is for the LED actually. So this is for button press activation. You get an LED as well. <laughs> yes. So the, it's easy onboarding. Just press the button, then you see the LED blink up you know it has joined the network and from then on it starts continuously sending, sending data through LoRaWAN. Mm -hmm. So we have location data, we have accelerometer data and we also have the temperature data and this is all aggregated in our cloud infrastructure where we also fuse the different uh, wireless technologies that we're getting. So the Wi-Fi signals, Mac, R Mac and RSSI values, uh, the assisted GNSS and also then the LoRa signal. And from that, we gather a position that is then forwarded through either REST API, Kafka queue, or Webhook into the system of our client. So they can receive an alert, for example, if uh, yeah, an, an asset has moved directly into their warehouse management system, or they can log uh, positions in the ERP. So this makes it truly flexible. Fantastic. I think that's a good spot to stop it.